there's never a right time. Uh, you make the time for it. It's an issue sports women have to contend with. But being a parent as well as a professional athlete seems to be second nature to former Spa Proteus goal shooter Dumisani Chawuke. I did it with my first child as well. I had him in 2012. Uh, I had him while I was injured, actually, because I got injured. I was injured. I had him in 2012. When I came back 2013, that was the biggest year of my netball career. So I did it then. There's no, there's no reason why I can't do it now, but this time I'm not a player. I'm a coach. The mother of two coaches, TUT's netball team, who are currently involved in varsity netball. That competition kicked off at the end of August. Chawuke's first traveling assignment took place after her daughter, Sibusisiwe, had turned three months old. So she was able to observe her family's requisite three-month period for the baby to stay indoors. Luckily for me, it was at three months that my first trip um, to Bloemfontein actually happened. So um, it was quite easy, actually, to say, uh, to be honest with you, because Varsity Sports made it so easy for me. I mean, Yana from Varsity Netball, uh, she ensured that the bus company that was transporting us had a car seat, you know, in the bus. And also at the hotel, we would request that I get a ground floor room close to reception so that I get easy access with the pram of the baby. Good planning and support go a long way in maintaining Chawuke's balance between work and motherhood. One thing I've always also managed to do is when I look at the fixture, uh, for that week I try and adjust uh, her feeding time and her sleeping time to say an hour before, an hour later, just to adjust. Usually I feed her um, at the hotel before we leave and then I bath her and then she takes a nap and then I get ready. So by the time we leave, she's nice and relaxed. When we get to the courts, most of the time it's two hours um, to go. Then uh, I'll give her, uh, I'll feed her again just to make sure she's, she's settled. And then after the game, uh, by the time we get to the hotel, she's mostly fast, fast asleep. <laughs> passed out. Chauke admits her body hasn't fully adjusted to the changes in her life. She says it could take months for that to happen. Lonim Timkulu, Pretoria.